Hey everybody, Hey Dog here, and welcome back to another tier list video. This time we are doing the ha Hell of a Boss episodes. So I was just thinking like, hey, why don't we just do the whole episodes and, you know, rank them. Uh, again, this is my opinion, so don't be offended if I don't put your favorite episode in top. Anyway, alright, so let's go with the first one. Uh, this is the one, the murder family. This is the one where they go to a family because of a teacher that, uh, a little angry at one of the, uh, humans. And, uh, then they started to run into some problems where the, uh, murder family was, uh, uh, murderous. And then they attacked. They killed the mom, which is great. And then the police killed the family which is very American of them to do that, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, this first episode, season one, honestly, not bad. I, um, I will say I like it. It's not, it's not, not like the best, but, uh, it's a pretty solid first episode. All right, so now the next one, season one, episode two, Lululand. So, this one is, um, this one's, like, my personal favorite. I don't know why. It's just, it's really good, and it just feels like the quality of this video is just higher than, than the first one. Um, so, the story goes that, um, they go to Lululand, uh, the gang, and, um, Stolas and Octavia, which is Solus's daughter, they go to Lululand and they're like, oh, this used to be fun and now it's not. And now um, it's just not good and I don't like it. Then Blitzo runs into the robot, um, Fizzerali, uh, the clown. And he's like, all right, then I gotta kill this guy. And then he just fucking burns the entire circus to the ground, which is really fun and stupid. And then, you know, Millie and Moxie are having their own fun time. And then it, it really, it, it then uh, is like the first episode that gets into like drama. So with Octavia and Stolas, they kind of get into like, you know, problems of, you know, fatherhood and motherhood and all that stuff. Uh, I really like it. I think, again, I will put it in like, uh, just, just a little uh, better than... Um, the first episode. All right, now for season one, episode three. Here we meet Verasica, which uh, she is the ex of Blitzo. And she, of course, does ex things like taking parking lots and getting an office right next to IMP. And they are like, what the hell? This is awful. This sucks. And so they're like, all right, well, if you want these things, then we're going to have to battle you. They battle, and of course, Verasica loses, and her gang loses, and IMP wins. And Blitzo is all blah, blah, blah about it. That's basically it. <laughs> basically, revenge against the X. And it's really fun. I really like the idea. But it kind of comes across kind of like, eh, it's okay, I would say. Like, it's meh. It's not the it's not the worst episode, but it could be better. All right, so now we're on to season one, episode four. This is where we get to see the Cupids, and they are trying to convince an old man to not off himself. And then, of course, you know, IMP comes around and says, "No, do that." And then, you know, it's just then just a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, which is kind of funny. Uh, where they just keep doing it until basically the cupids have had enough and they're just gonna kill them the demons and then they accidentally kill the old man and which is just so funny to me it's just like so ironic that they 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 try to save this man and then he dies and then the funny part is then they're just banned out of heaven like wow like just 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 Irony upon karma and then of course IMP are just like all right cool bye and then they're done This one's really funny because it's just like super Awesome like seeing like heaven and hell clash together because like we don't really see that much So I I really like this one. It's a really good one for me 
All right, this one is uh, season one, episode five. This is where they they go to the the festival and they meet a guy named Stryker. And Stryker is very cool, very handsome, very awesome, and very uh, skilled with everything. And Moxie is so jealous and just like, oh man, I wish I'd be that. But you know, Millie's all like, oh whatever, you know, don't care. But of course, Millie's parents are all like, oh this guy's awesome, and it just goes like terrible for Moxie. He's just this wimpy little imp, and then Stryker's just this big muscled snake. And then at the end of it, uh, Stryker is uh, was hired to assassinate Stolas. And then Moxie finds out, and then everyone's all like, alright, this guy's not cool anymore. So they try to kill him, he escapes, and Moxie shows off his big guns, you know, to, to everybody. The Basically, moral of the story is that no matter how big and brute you are, you know, smarts wins uh, muscle, I guess. This one I really like is just, it's very nice just to see, I don't know, it's very cool. I really like the, the new setting. It was like in a, like a, like a, like a farm field and it's pretty memorable and Striker is like one of my favorites. I love it. All right, now we're on to uh, season one, episode six. Now this is where uh, Moxie and Blitzo uh, get captured by the government. And it took them that long to find imps. Wow, okay, great, awesome. Anyway, they finally, they finally get captured by the American government. And so now it's the ladies trying to rescue them. Luna and Millie try to rescue. And of course, it's super badass, and I love it. And I love the fighting scenes; they're so cool. And the agents are so funny. And I love the joke that they they don't really use guns, and all they use is like was samurai stuff, weaponry. And it's like, oh, that's so funny. Like, why? It's so funny. And the 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 two agents are just total dummies and of course parodies off of the matrix and i love it i love this episode so much season one episode seven this is where blitzo and stolas uh quotations go on a date now you know blitzo is all like yeah 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 and you know all he wants to do is just spy on moxie and millie the entire time on their date and then, so Moxie goes up and he sings and they're all like, oh, this is so dumb, this song sucks, be more lustful. And then Osmodius comes out, the, the lust uh, sin, and, he, and with Fizzerali, the original. And they're like, oh, this sucks, you gotta be all sexy and lustful. And then Moxie's like, no, man. And of course they become, you know, the dream couple, of course, Moxie and Millie. And Stolas and Blitzo are all embarrassed that they're even there, and, you know, they get made fun of, and why are you even here, and, you know, you're just with this imp guy, Stolas, oh, you left your wife and child. Blitzo's just there being useless. And it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, I don't know. It, it, it almost got me, and I love the songs and stuff, but it, it was just kind of ended off as a... At the end, they kind of just go their own ways. It, it kind of just felt a little more dramatic, but I would say this was kind of like the bad ones. It kind of felt a little rushed. I don't know. But that's just my opinion. Anyway. And now we're off to Season 1, Episode 8. The last uh, Season 1 episodes. This one is about where Luna goes to a party by the Queen Bee, the sin of gluttony. And she gets all nervous because text, she loves text and he, you know, he's there and, you know, she gets all nervous. And then it's revealed that text is actually Queen girl, Queen Bee's boy, er, boyfriend. And he, she is just so sad and She's like, all right, dad, come pick me up. And Blitzo comes in 
and he's like, come here, and then everyone's like, whoa, Blitzo, it's you, and he's like, nah, nah, those days are over, and he's like, really sad, so he's like, ah, fuck it, I'll just do it, and then he gets hammered, and basically just destroys the vibe of the party, and then Luna takes him, and gets him back home, and he barfs and is sad. I like this episode because it's just more of like the the daughter does more for the dad and it's nice to see a, a change of like usually the the dad is supposed to be the the man and you know picks up the daughter and says it's okay but now it's finally the daughter actually does pick up the dad and tells him tells him that it's okay. And I really love that. It's such a great episode, and it's so stylish, and I love the music. Now we are on season two, episode one. This one is filled with all Blitzo and Stolas, and it starts way in the beginning when they were just kids. So this is the first time Stolas ever gets feelings for Blitzo, and actually realizes that my wife is a bitch and Blitz Blitzo is so much better than her. So basically it's kind of like the first time he's having love, which is sad because he's like an adult and he hasn't had love yet, which is pretty sad and he's had just this bitch wife. And it then realizes, he realizes that he's not happy, so he freaking divorced Stella, which is so funny at the end. And then it comes into like present day. So it was basically a backstory of their childhood lives. And I, I would put it more, but like, it's, it's just kind of like lore on these two characters and their families and how they are treated basically like shit. So I like to see that as you know a storyline not like i don't like seeing that in real life that's terrible all right but on to season two episode two this is where octavia is super excited and there's gonna be like the the shooting stars and you know she's gonna go with her dad but her dad is way too busy with uh being an asshole to his divorced wife and he doesn't really pay attention to Octavia, and Octavia is really sad and depressed. And then she remembers that Blitzo has the book that takes her to Hollywood, so she basically just goes to the real world, to the Earth, just tries to find her herself. And then the dad, of course, her dad, dad, of course, gets super upset and is all worried so the gang and Stolas go out into the human world to try to find her. They finally do, Luna talks, talks some big good stuff about it and everyone thinks it's gonna be okay and dads are just trying to be dads at the end of the day, which is such a great, like, ugh, I love that when just, because people don't respect dads as much and people sometimes paint dads as like the villain of the parents it's like no dads are just trying their best and i really love that because i love my dad and i it's he's been a real great help in my life and if i had never had him i don't know where i would be at this point a moment but it, it really it's really a good one i love it i love it a lot love all right on to the next one season two episode three this is where moxie's uh dad comes in and he invites you know the imp gang you know he invites them to his house and then they realize that he's uh in the mafia and then they realize moxie was in the mafia and then they're like well we don't even know this part of your life and he's like i don't want to talk about it because uh you know uh, that would be uh, really hard to talk about, and I understand that. <laughs> but uh, once they're there, it's pretty much a trap, just so that this guy named Chad, his ex, Moxie's ex, and Millie's ex, of course, try to, you know, marry him. So basically a forceful marriage because Chad has all the money and 
Moxie's dad doesn't give a shit about him and all he wants is money. And then apparently then they realize that they told that Chad is poor. And then Moxie's dad proceeds to uh, kill him. And it's just funny because then now Moxie's dad wants to kill his son. And it's just one of those things where it's just like, wow, that's crazy. Um, I, I like it. It's the one th I, I do love. I don't know why. I just love the loan shark joke because they're mafia boss, loan sharks, and they're actually sharks. I, it's, it's great. I love that. But I would say this one's kind of a little meh. I, I, I did like the fighting scene, but that was mostly it. Chaz was kind of a douche. <laughs> and I didn't really like him. Season 2, Episode 4. This is where uh, Stryker finally captures Stolas and hired by Stella to then kill him. Takes him and now the IMP gang have to go and get him. But Blitzo has to freaking take Luna to the vet to get a shot. And it's just so funny. I love the animation and her. It just It's so cute. It's just like total just dog. That's just dog energy right there. And while Blitzo is trying to get her a shot, uh, Moxie and Millie go and find Stolas to try to kill uh, Stryker. And Stryker gets away, but Stolas is really badly wounded in the end. And then in the end of Blitzo, finally giving Luna a shot and realizing that the dramatic moment was Stolas uh, isn't really immortal and can pretty much die like all like pretty much anyone and Blitzo didn't really see it that way. Uh, I really like this one and I really like uh, I don't know the tone in it just really seemed very stressful and just like oh man this is really intense I would say all right and now for the infamous one that's been hated a lot the cabin camp one season two episode five this is where moxie and millie go into disguise so that uh, you know they can do their job and kill a kill someone for a client and when they're doing that, Moxie gets really jealous of Millie because Millie is then, you know, very popular and cool amongst the kids and Moxie isn't taking it too well because he thought he was going to be popular and cool and he's basically just the opposite. I, I, I kind of saw where the uh, writers were going. I understood, like... They also wanted like kind of like a couple argument and it kind of was like that. I understood what they were trying to do. Now, while they're trying to do that, Blitzo is uh, trying to look for his sister because his sister got out of rehab and escaped. So now he's just trying to find her. She f he finally finds her literally in the same place as the cabin. And then there's the guy they need to kill and then they kill the guy, and then Blitzo's sister splits on out of there. And it kind of ends right there. It, it, I, I didn't really like it. In the beginning, it was okay, but then when I kind of analyzed it more, is that even a word? When I looked over it again, it, it was just, eh. I wouldn't say it's the worst episode, but it's like, it's, it's pretty terrible. I it kind of seems like they were this one seemed rushed and this one seemed like how can we make moxie feel like the bad like the victim here and millie feel like she's bragging or something and it, it just came off as just nah i didn't like it but i wouldn't say it's the worst so now we're on to season two episode six this is where blitzo and fizzerali meet up again and this is where they get captured by Stryker and Moxie's dad. Basically tied up and Osmodius knows and he's pissed off. And but now he's just in this like contract deal and he can't get out of it. So he's no help 
So it's basically just the two of them. And now they have to settle their disagreements. And, you know, then we get all this lore and why they hate each other. And it's sad and depressing and how, like, communication is key. Like, when people say that, communication is key. You always talk to people. It's no matter what, you think something's off, you talk, okay? Uh, but they finally settle their differences and they get the hell out of there. They, they, they destroy everything and they escape. And it's, it's, it's pretty good. I really like it and I really like how Fizzerali and just the, the dynam dynamic duo of them is just, it's nice. And I, I really like that. So I, I would put this in the like. Now we're on season two. Episode 7. This is where Mammon shows up, and he's basically the sin of greed. And he forces Fizzerali to do clowning. And basically, all that means is to be his little toy. Make merch out of him and make money. And that's all he really wants out of Fizzerali. He doesn't care about his talent and he doesn't really care about entertaining the fans, of course, because he is greed, of course. Once Osmodius and Blitzo step in, they try to convince uh, Fizzerali that, hey, uh, Mammon guy, he's kind of bad and he, he doesn't really give a shit about you. And, you know, it gets all heartwarming and, like, how much love is with Osmodius and Fizzerali and how they, they're just great for each other and they, they comfort each other. And it's just fun to see Blitzo kill a, an absolute stalker. It's so funny. And then he finally quits and Mammon is pissed off about that. But... Of course, he's got Osmodius and backing it up, so Mammon does nothing. And that's the end of it. But maybe we'll see more of him. But uh, yeah, I, I, honestly, this is such a good episode, and I really, I really, the animation here seemed really like, like perfect. I don't know. I love the colors they did for it. It's it's really nice. The music was great. It just seemed really good it really good episode and I, I loved it now for our last one season two episode eight well of the last one of recording right now stolas and blitzo are uh not doing good their relationship is uh pretty uh shit right now and most of the time it's super complicated and it's not good and they just they're not on the same wavelength and, you know, Blitzo is completely stupid and doesn't even read the signs. And while that's all going on, the Cupids uh, have worked, are now working together with the government. And that's not good. <laughs> so now they have all this super tech and guns and like now they're ready to go back to go to hell literally go to hell and beat them in their home turf but luna moxie and millie come to save the day and beat the hell out of the cupids and send them back to earth again it's this very controversial episode where uh, both parties are wrong and both parties are right i i don't really side with stolas or blitzo it's just there's just two people who are in bad positions at the same time. And I think that that's just relationships that's it's hardcore. It's just, there are just sometimes, you know. And I think uh, Stolas is trying to break up with Blitzo, and Blitzo does not want to. He wants to just keep being with Stolas. And, you know, Blitzo is always filled with anger, and Stolas is always filled with grief. And it's just, it's just sad and depressing. Uh, but I, I don't know. This one is just so, it's, it's just so depressing, but then we have the cool fight scene, and we get to see the Cupids again. I would 
I, I know people are gonna hate me, but I'm just gonna put it at meh. I, I know, I know, but just, it's just, maybe they'll get back together, they'll probably talk it out in another episode, but for now, it just, that kind of broke my heart, <laughs> but there you go, so that's where I'm gonna put it right there, so be mad at me or be happy forever, hold your peace. Anyway, that is my tier list. And I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I Again, this is just my opinion, so don't, like, hate on me just because your favorite episode is not good. But uh, I think I did well. I don't know for, you know, having this here. Very controversial episodes right here. But, you know, whatever you like, please comment down below. I would love to see it. And also, hopefully you liked it. Comment and subscribe. See ya!